Cause you look at me in shock Like gravity, you hold me down I'm the one that's gonna always be around Hey y'all <laughs> um, I'm clearly wiping my face But I'm wiping it with Burt's Bees Grapefruit wipes and that is the wet and wild simmer me brown eyebrow pencil and i'm just starting on some eyebrows because i got my eyebrows waxed and yeah baby they was going back i'm taking my spoolie and i am distributing the product which will allow for my eyebrows to be like at the at the beginning of my eyebrow it will be less dark it'll be more natural and i was clearly dancing I'm going by fast in this video because I'm singing, you know, I can't ever do my makeup in, yeah. Anyways. So yeah, I'm carving my eyebrow out and using a concealer, which was the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Toffee. And of course, you can use lighter ones uh, under my eyebrow. I use a little bit lighter than me, not too much. And of course, my undertone is yellow, as you can see under my eyes and my highlighted areas. So yeah, I'm just sculpting my eyebrow. And of course, I noticed that my eyebrow was um, not too thick at the end. So I drew it in and back to carving I go. Still singing. <laughs> Now I'm going to take my beauty blender and my rose water and spray that so that it's a little damp and I'm going to distribute that product everywhere which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal because I'm getting ready to start on my eyes so of course like I like to go ahead and use that concealer to prep my eyes for my eyeshadow and here I'm just showing off all my Juvia's Place palettes and then my Norvina palette and my Bling Boss palette. And I'm going in with my Juvia's Place palette and I'm using one of the browns in there just to set my eyes. And I went in with the darker brown to more so set a base color, but not really because as you'll see, I'll go in with the red. Here I go with like a reddish color, just adding depth to my crease. I am now cutting my crease and I have a hooded eye. I'm jamming. <laughs> and I have a hooded eye, so I have to cut above my crease just a little bit. Um, honestly, right here, I'm not using me closing my eye and opening it back up to tell where my crease is because I'm so used to it. But a good tip to know when you are doing your crease, um, if you have a hooded eye, you want to cut it and then close your eyes. Like, look up. Or not close them, open them wide as heck open them and like just as you can see like um you will know exactly where to cut it and so now here i am i'm going over that um so it is well blended when i do decide to place whatever i'm going to place in that area but for now i'm darkening the outside corners of my eyes because it'll be like a three-tone look so of course that's a darker brown almost a, a black in a juvie's place palette um going back in with that red black and I'll keep doing that throughout this video now I'm using my next glitter primer and I'm going to place the glitter in those areas where my concealer is right now And for me, I'm kind of like a perfectionist. 
so you'll see me going back and forth in between time closer towards the end of the video changing up the glitter but as you can see I'm just gonna place it briefly underneath and that's the pink shade in the NYX glitter because I don't use anything but NYX glitter unless I found one from beauty supply store and I just feel like using it like I said you'll see me going back in with the red and the black throughout this video I'm going back in with the Burt's Bees wipes to wipe under my eyes and get rid of most of that glitter because of course like glitter is hard to get off so. I went ahead and applied my eyelashes off camera I'm going to use the wet and wild dewy foundation because I have combination skin that day I had dry skin so I went ahead and used that dewy foundation I'm using the Maybelline fit me dewy foundation in the shade 340 it was on camera but I deleted that clip but as you can see I'm just evenly distributing this foundation onto my skin I even applied a little bit under my chin because you don't want those strong foundation lines nobody needs to see where you ended your foundation line so you just see me distributing the product and here I'm going ahead and taking a flat brush my dog tore it up <laughs> But I'm going to take the flat brush and distribute it even more. Like, yes, I love beauty blenders, but I also love brushes still. I'm kind of the old-fashioned makeup, and I'm using the Maybelline concealer as well. And it's in the shade medium. I don't know how this is medium, but hey, <laughs> you know, I'm still jamming, of course. And I went ahead and applied my eyelashes off camera. But if y'all want a video showing how I put them on, then I will let y'all know that and I'm over here smacking on peach rings and if y'all didn't know this is one of my favorite candies so yeah <laughs> my friend got it for me but anyways I'm going back in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal as well because I like using both of them as a concealer because the other one is lighter but I still use a darker one just to even up the color of it of course, I'm going back in on my forehead and on my chin because those are the areas that, of course, are your highlighted areas. And of course, I brought my orange beauty blender out. I'll be going back in time. But yeah, so you'll see me. And then the Black Radiance Contouring Palette is in medium to dark. I'm just taking a brush, another brush my dog threw up, to go ahead and get into those creases I also have dimples if y'all can tell but I'm going to do that for a moment I get under the, my chin as well because you need to know the difference in it just contour your cheekbones like I have strong cheekbones as is but I also love to contour them even more so that's what I will be doing still chewing and I go in and I use my air spun to go ahead and do that baking girl baking is key in makeup and I'm gonna hit all those spots that I use and I even hit under my concealer I feel like that's important and I use the real techniques brush just to wipe it away people leave it on for a long time I don't as long as it's there for a little while that's what matters and I went in with the fit me powder it's the foundation, but in the powder. But I use that in a shade 355. So here I'm using my rose water just to spray my face a little. I do this all the time. Going in with the highlight. This is a Wet n Wild Precious. It's called Precious, yeah. And then, as you can see, I went a little bit over my red eyeshadow, so I'll be taking the time to go back over that shortly, in a minute. And 
And right here, I'm going back over the glitter because when I went back in with the red, I put it over the glitter. And I don't want to take away from that pink glitter because that's, I cut my crease for that reason. So here, I'm thinking I'm lining my lips up. Um, no, not at all. I'm like, uh, okay. What? <laughs> then it breaks off my lips twice. So here I am. That's what we gonna be doing. But anyways, y'all, this is a finished product. Um, I don't think I lift the, I showed y'all the lipstick I am wearing. But, in case I didn't, just so y'all know what it is. Um, it is Black Radiance Perfect Tone HD Lip Sculptor. It is in the shade Queen B because you know that I am a Queen B. You heard me, you smell me, you feel me, you know. So, you know. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's been real, you know. Hope y'all really liked it. Y'all can always recreate this look. Um, honestly, the stuff that I have is not really expensive. So, go get you some. And this wig, I'll leave y'all the description below. <laughs>